not want it. He making me to lie down in green pastures. He needed me beside the still waters. He restored my soul. He needed me in the past of rashness for his name's sake. Yeah, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. The rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou prepared a table for me in the presence of my enemies. Thou anointed my name with God. <coughs> I'm cup running over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. And I will build a house of the Lord for them. I read the Psalm 23, from 1 to 6. May Lord have a blessing reading of his word. And may we all be here, not only readers, may we all be doers. Amen. Down at the cross, my Savior died. Down where we sin, we like we're 
everybody just stand right where you are and we want to say a word of prayer there are many that are out today uh, but nonetheless God is still good still working miracles. Yeah. 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 Still working miracles yeah. Yeah. in our life. Father, in Jesus' name, we thank you. We bless you. And we give you the praise this morning for your goodness unto us. Thank you for allowing us to see another month as we come into the holiday season, as we come to the close of this year. We want to give you praise. We want to give you glory and honor for who you are, for what you have done, and what you're yet doing in our lives. We thank you for access to the throne of grace this morning. Thank you for the forgiveness of sin. Thank you for new mercy. You said morning by morning, new mercies we will see. So we thank you for the new mercy on this morning. We pray for the sick. Pray for those, Lord God, that have transitioned family members, those that are heavy hearted, bowed down heads, and tear stained eyes. And you be the God of all comfort and peace, even in the midst of sorrow. You said weeping may endure for a night, but joy will come in the morning. Thank you for the morning time. Thank you for the morning. Thank you for the sunshine. And thank you. Sunshine, thank you for the rain. Thank you for this season that you have embarked in our lives. Thank you for the journey. But along with the journey, thank you for the process that we would learn more of thee. Now, Lord, we ask that you would bless this church. Continue to send souls and increase. Increase as you said that you would do. And he added to the church daily such as be saved. So we thank you, Lord God, for saving. We thank you for the salvation that is freely given to us. In the name of Jesus. Now bless us the rest of this day. Bless us in this service. Bless us as we go forth, Lord God, proclaiming the unadulterated gospel of Jesus Christ. And we'll be forever grateful to you to give your name the praise on the glory because it all belongs to you. In Jesus' name we pray. Thank God and amen. Put your hands together and give him a praise. Come on, be glad about it. Amen. Let's try to do this.
find him on the floor, and you won't see him because you ain't thinking about nobody being in your back seat. And drive off with you and stick you up and rob you, kill you, and it's going across the map now because a brother in Louisiana, one of my good friends, shared with me about it. Which what over says saying, be watchful. Yeah. Amen. Because you know not. When the thief cometh to steal, amen. Yeah. But that means that we have to guard our loins, amen. Yeah. And be watchful, watch as well as pray, amen. Yeah. So just put that one in as he's sharing the caution. Um, the sisters especially, because they're targeting young women and they're targeting, and then which is nothing but as you already know, that's part of the sex trafficking. That's a very high thing that's in, uh, in our society and our uh, time, especially now. So be careful, amen. That's right. And California is one of the highest states on sex trafficking. Yes, yes. Yeah. They're taking our young ladies across not just the country, they're taking them out of the country into other countries. You know, you, you, you notice what they stopped doing. You remember on Milk Carton they used to say they were missing? You know? And another thing is, is uh, while you get your offering, there's another situation is going on working with a person in in uh, uh, Rochester, New York. They're stealing body parts. They're stealing body parts. They, people have gone to the hospital for routine checkups. They've been told that they have certain ailments and abnormalities and within days they're dead. Right. Uh, the young lady in Rochester, her father, the, the doctor said to her, your father is in shape of a 40 year old man. He was in his uh, late 70s. And then three days later he was in the hospital and in less than a week he was dead. And so now they're they're fighting to to have his body exhumed so they can go and find out how can he go in well and in less than ten days he's dead. Yeah. Amen. And this 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 I'm telling you, uh, it's it's a real situation. Now, there's some things I'm gonna share with you before the year is out that you uh, I don't want you to. To get blindsided, I want you to be aware of the things that are going on in our in, in our world and in our system. Because there's a group of people that want body parts; they want to keep living. They don't care whose body parts they get. Amen. All right. children for being here on today. Right, Nehemiah, Esther, Job, and then Psalms. Nehemiah, Esther, and Job. Esther becomes a very prime figure because in the book of Esther, in the book of Esther, the name of God, the name of the Lord is not mentioned one time, right. but it has significant impact on us and
and our Christian obligation. Yeah, yeah. Esther chapter 4, verses 13 and 14. And Mordecai told them to answer Esther. Do not think in your heart that you will escape in the king's palace any more than all the other Jews. For if you remain completely silent at this time, relief and deliverance will arise for the Jews from another place. But you and your father's house will perish. Yet who knows whether you have come in the kingdom for such a time as this. Who knows whether you have come into the kingdom for such a time as this. I want to talk for a few moments from the subject of movement, not a moment. All right, brother. A movement, not a moment. Father, we do thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. Book of Esther is a very interesting book, and I love this book for the simple fact that it has great historical impact, insight, and foresight as it relates to a people that have become knee bent and body bowed to a foreign country because of the Jews' continuous backsliding and not being obedient to the word of God, she always found herself in perplexed peril and unfamiliar places. There are times when God has to use outside entities uh -huh. yes. to get us to recognize, number one, his power. Yeah, yeah. His presence and His provision. Yes, We're now entering with Esther into a place of slavery All right. by a king named Ahasuerus mm -hmm. who ruled over 127 providences from yeah. India to Ethiopia. Yeah. Esther's Hebraic name is Hadassah, which means Myrtle. Mm -hmm. But her Persian name, meaning star or star. Mm -hmm. So now she has come into a country and has been stripped of her native land's name. Mm -hmm. And has been given another name. Yes. Yes, sir. Esther becomes very important because she obviously was very good looking. Oh, yeah. And I would even say it like this: Esther well, was fine. <laughs> because when King Ahasuerus looked upon her, he summons her yes, he to be part of his kingdom. Yes. <coughs> but God had to use mm -hmm. another moment in order for there to become a movement. Mm. Because before Esther was ascended into a place of prominence, there was another queen by the name of Vashti. Mm. Yes, sir. Vashti was, I'm, I'm treading real careful, uh, I'm, I'm going to walk real careful on this because, uh, yeah, it, it could be a little, it could be a little, little dicey uh, because uh, Vashti had her own agenda. Like some of our women today got yeah, their own agenda. Yeah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. 
I'm, I'm, I'm walking real light now. Yeah, I'm, like, I'm, I'm, I'm on edge right now. I can't afford. Uh, I can't afford no scramble edges. Desti was summoned in order to do something that the king required. Okay. And upon her refusal, she and her whole household were banished. Have to be careful. Have to be careful. Have to be careful when you're in someone else's house. Lord. How you handle yourself. Yes, yes. Uh, I've, I've said this uh, that, uh, and, and I'm, I'm not pointing nobody out, but I'm just saying this that uh, in your choice of male companionship, uh, you shouldn't be so forward. Or so demanding. Yes, hallelujah, hallelujah. Especially if you can't get it for yourself. All yes, right, yes, all right, yes, all right. Yes, 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 Lord. A friend of mine has a statement we said like this make no demands yes. until you end demand. Yes, yes, yes. Vestry decided that she was not going to obey. The decree of the king, and because yeah. of that, she and her whole house oh, wow. and all those that were around were removed. Yes. Yes, sir. You have to be careful mm. in somebody else's house yes. 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 because it can not only have significant damage to you, mm. but it can damage the innocent people around That's you. Right. Yes. 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 In this great historic plot, mm -hmm. there were some other people around that decided that they wanted to be bigger than themselves. There's nothing wrong with aspiring to <coughs> elevation, but you don't have to step on folks. Right. Right. To get to where you think you want to be, yeah, because yeah, oftentimes yeah. when you get to where you thought you wanted to be, you find out that it ain't so nice being on top. There have been people that have aspired to to get to places that they thought was going to make their names bright and shine and the lights on to find yeah, out yes, yes. it's lonely at the time. All right, all right, all right. And, and everybody that you thought was with you, you find out is against you. That's right. That's right. And you find that the people that you thought would be supportive of you were really envious and jealous. Yes, yes. And they plot against you. This man by the name of Haman, he reminds me so much of a person that lived in 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue. Haman, Haman was, was, was not satisfied with who he was and what he had. And he was given, he was given he was given great authority and power, but it wasn't enough because he couldn't get one man to bow. One man would not bow, and Haman was angry. One man. I ain't talking about 100 men. One man would not bow. Haman put on the bully suit. Right. Like this uh -huh. person that we know that when you don't buy yeah. becomes a bully. Yeah. One man mm -hmm. would not buy. Mordecai had principle. Mordecai had character. Yes. Mordecai had the knowledge of God and said, if it's anybody 
anybody I'm going to bow to is to God. I'm not bowing to no man. I'm not allowing no man because he rides in on a big white horse and because he got all these people around singing his praise. You know, there's a guy I know that, that lives in 1600. <laughs> Pennsylvania Avenue. Gets mad because one man won't bow. He, 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 he would see Haman and Haman, Haman, Haman would come around and see Mordecai. Mordecai would sit there just as cool, calm, and collective. And Haman would, would be, according to antiquity, he would come and put his horse in literally in his face. And Mordecai would not move, would not recognize him, would not bow, would not say anything. And it would, it would enrage oh, yeah, Haman. Yeah. Now everybody else on the block bowed. Yeah. But one man yeah. refused yeah. to bow. Yeah. And because of his anger and because of this one man that refused to bow, he took his rage and anger out on one group of people. Yes, yes. Uh, maybe, 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 maybe you don't see this. Because one man would not bow. Yes. He took his anger out on a complete group of people. Yes, hallelujah. Let, let's, 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 let's back up and let's look at this. Because black folk don't bow. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. This one man hallelujah. Hallelujah. takes his anger out yes. on all of us. Yes, yes. Oh, you don't believe what I'm saying? Uh -huh. Look at what he's done. He, he, he's taken away health. Yes. This guy is on 1600. That's what yes. I'm talking about. Yes. <laughs> he, he, he's taking away our educational system. Yes. Uh, yeah, that orange guy on 1600 Pennsylvania <laughs> Avenue now has taken away what wants to cut Social Security. Oh, that, that one man that has not seen how much we have endured. Yes, yes, yes. Re re refuses to send help when he could, yes. but rather takes away from us because we won't bow. But the, the problem he got, he don't understand, uh, is the fact that because we ain't bowing to him, we're bowing to somebody bigger than him. Father, yeah. I stretch my hands to thee. No other help. I know. And I withdraw thyself from me. Where shall we go? I'm not bowing to no orange man. They used to have, they used to have a commercial said, I'd rather fight than to quit. I'm rolling up my sleeves and I don't care what Dixie crap, what Republican, what person that sits up there, we gon' fight! And we ain't gonna quit. Yeah. Yeah. You think I'm gonna fight you with my hands? No! No, I got a better, I got a better tactic for you. For our warfare is not carnal, but it's mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds. You can sit there all you want. You can, you can make a disaster in Syria. You can make all the kind of contacts with Putin and Russia, but I'm going down on my knees. When the trouble rises, I look to Jesus beyond the sky. He promised me. He hear my plea. If I tell him, Uh, that's what Mordecai told him. Uh -huh. Esther, I close, he said, baby, it's because you're in the king's house. Yes, yes. Don't you think for one minute that when they find out that you are Jew, uh -huh. they're going to come and get you to it. And Esther was the cousin of Mordecai and said, well, 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 cuz, what you think, what should I do? He said, baby, don't you think for one minute that maybe God called you into the kingdom yes, yes. for such a time 
as this we're living in this time that we need more of a movement than a moment it's going to take more than a moment to straighten this thing out I heard a songwriter say years ago let's straighten it out how are we going to straighten it out we got to get some folk that believe in the movement what does that mean somebody yes you may be old, I'm old, yeah. but I still got some power yeah. in prayer. Yeah. Do I have a witness here? Yeah. How many know that prayer will change things? Yeah. How many know that if you tell God yeah. all about it, when you tell him all about your troubles, yeah. God has a way of moving yeah. in your behalf. Yeah. God is looking for somebody right now that will tell him, we're telling him everything. Now it's time to tell him, Lord, we need your help. We need your power. We need your strength to endure times like these. And I'll tell you, I'll tell you what happened. Uh, Sister Esther said, get all my servants. Get everybody in my house. Tell everybody we go do something about this. We go get down on our knees and we go fast before the Lord. Where is the fasting and the praying that we used to do? When we couldn't get nothing else done, we pushed our plate back and said, Lord, we need you to move in our house. We need you to move in our families. We need you to move in our communities. Turn your plate down. Fast and pray. Jesus will always make a way. There'll be a bright side somewhere. Uh, and when Esther got her family together and they moved, it said that she went and got clean. Uh, she went and dressed up and put on some good smelling stuff. Uh, and the king was having a party. Uh, and he was having this party with his friends. Uh, and she said, if I go in, uh, he might kill me. Uh, but if I perish, uh, I perish. Uh, Cause I must see the king. Good afternoon, good morning, and good evening. We got to see the king. The Bible said it's to put on a finery and put on some good smelling stuff. And when she walked into the king's chamber, the king looked up and saw her. And it said that if he didn't extend his scepter, you'd get your head cut off. But Esther was so fine and smelled so good that the king extended his scepter. And when he came down to the king's palace, the king said, baby, what's going on? He said, what's going on before Marvin came? He said, what's wrong with you? And she said, I got some news for you. There's a guy named Henry that's trying to kill me. charge. What's wrong with Haman? I've given him power. What's wrong with Trump? I've given him a seat in a high place. But he's not satisfied. And she said, well, what baby do you want me to do? She said, I want you to get Haman. And I want you to string him up. But don't just get him. But he got ten sons. Get them too. with God's people because God will I said God will he'll string you up in all the your cabinet and let it be a testimony against you we're talking about a movement and not a moment I don't care if they impeach you or not you're messing with God's people and God has a way 
And you watch the same ones that build ditches and the gallows for you, swinging from them or falling into them himself because you took them. God bless you, God keep you today. Father, we thank you. We give you glory, we give you honor. We thank you for being our King of Kings and Lord of Lords. Now we're not going to sit down and complain. We're not going to sit down and cry and whimper and make excuses. We take it all.
So we don't ever want to look at this and just we're taking the cracker or drinking some juice, but this becomes symbolic of his body that was broken for us and the blood that was shed on Calvary. Thousands of years ago on a place called Calvary. He wasn't fit to live and wasn't ready to die, but he shed his blood. Without the shedding of blood, there's no remission of sin. Bullets, doves, and goats, and pigeons could not do it. But God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believed in him should not perish and have everlasting life. This we're grateful. The blood that Jesus shed for me.
our iniquities that we might be, O oh God, able to partake. Yes, yes. Able to partake of your body and your blood. For this, O oh God, you said many a week and sick and many weep among us because they did not rightfully deserve your body and your blood. Bless it now. In Jesus' name.